Color Finale Transcoder 2 lives in the Applications folder. But let's open up Final Cut Pro first. Here, you can launch it as a workflow extension from the top left. Note the menu bar icon that appears. It provides handy access to the settings, registration info, updates, and more. Let's navigate and import a raw clip onto the timeline of an empty project. On the left side are locations and favorites. We have several disks already connected, including a card from a camera containing some raw footage. At the bottom, we see a list of raw media, including info like frame count. Let's select this clip. If you only want to use some of it, drag the in and out points, or use the I and O keys on the keyboard to trim. To the right, there are raw media controls and transcoding settings that are relevant to the selected clip, such as transcoding codec, color space, waveforms, and in the other tab, we've got full metadata. So to import the clip, we can just drag and drop it into the library or the timeline, or use the controls at the bottom. Let's select the library and event manually. After a brief processing period, the ProRes version of the clip now lives in the library. The original name and extension has been carried over, as well as full metadata. We can begin to edit or add more clips. On a technical note, this method uses a system volume for intermediary file processing, even if your library is held on an external drive. If you're editing on a laptop with a limited amount of space, you might be interested in using a different method coming up. Let's go back a bit. Over here, we have the option to use original media. This works with B-RAW and N-RAW files. In Transcoder 2, you can put these clips onto the timeline without transcoding. The audio is embedded. There are two plugins for the respective formats that enable editing without transcoding. These plugins are automatically applied during import and can't be added manually. If you need to change the original footage, import the updated one from the extension, just like you would with a normal clip in Final Cut Pro. For example, we have full control over the color temperature and exposure. When working with original media, remember to keep the device that contains these files mounted, since Transcoder 2 is literally referencing them at all times. While there is deep integration with Final Cut Pro, Transcoder 2 can also be used independently as a standalone app. Launch the app from the Applications folder. Open the Transcoder 2 window from the icon in the menu bar. This icon actually also means that the Transcoder server is up and running, which is what allows the underlying features to work. Now we can transcode media just like before, but save it anywhere on the computer or to an external drive. Right click on a raw file and select Q for transcoding to. Useful if you want to pick up the work in the NLE of your choice or to send it off to someone else for editing. This method also uses Transcoder's own more efficient queue, creating less intermediary files, and so is less taxing on a laptop with storage constraints. To summarize, there are three main methods of working with raw media. Import a transcoded file into Final Cut Pro, use original media, or save a transcoded file to anywhere on a file system. Color Finale Transcoder 2 automatically starts in a 7-day trial mode until a license key is added. You can use the email you used to purchase to check your license details using the Online License Manager. If you have any observations while using Transcoder 2, you can reach out to us by filling out the feedback form. Or if you need help with something specific, please contact support via email. We hope you enjoy using Color Finale Transcoder 2 as part of your raw workflow.